Hello and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Welcome to Dhaka, the capital, largest city, and cultural center of Bangladesh. Like many major cities, Dhaka is strategically located alongside an important waterway, the Buraganga River. In fact, being able to cross the river is central to living, working, and maneuvering around the city. Enter the humble ferry boat. Dhaka's history is rooted in the river, which facilitated fishing, trade, and travel. The ferry company owners and captains get their boats from wherever they can. Many are refits from other parts of the world. Some are over a century old, relics of colonialism. Captain Salam is lucky to have one of the newer boats on the river. Salam has worked on ships his entire life and now has the honor of driving one of the larger multi-deck vessels. Aside from simple crossings, the ferries are a necessity for daily commutes, trade, and connectivity between regions. Dealing with overcrowding is just part of the job. Indeed, for many residents of Dhaka and surrounding areas, traveling by boat is a part of daily life offering a practical solution to cross rivers for work, education, and other necessities. For this reason, the passenger onboarding and offboarding process can be quite hectic. Large ships need multiple sailors to take tickets, help carry bags, and handle mooring lines. Salam's ship will often employ more than a dozen individuals ranging in age from almost children to experienced veterans. Salam himself began working on boats when he was just a young man. খুব কম ছিল কাঠ বডি জাহাজ ছিল তখন স্টিল বডি জাহাজ ছিল না তখন আমি এই চাকরি করি আর ওই জাহাজ চালাই তা দেশ বিদেশে আল্লাহর আমাদের অনেক কোম্পানিতে আমি চাকরি করছি
Depending on the destination, trips can take minutes or hours. The interior of the ships is typically equipped with the basics, including snack bars and eating areas. But passengers have few options for entertaining themselves on longer voyages. After all, many areas the boats traverse are miles away from cities or infrastructure. The captain's job is to steer the boat and mind various systems, like the GPS. It's also essential that the engines be well-maintained, which is a process that requires near-constant attendance. Many of the ships have engines that have been repaired dozens of times in order to keep them working, and crews are often required to know the engine rooms inside and out. Some of the newer ships, like Salam's, have well-appointed lounges and cabin rooms where passengers can sit. These sometimes come at a premium price compared to simply sitting on the deck, so they are rarely occupied. However, Westerners and other tourists tend to prefer the lounge seating to the open decks due to the pollution in the river. However, this has improved somewhat in recent years thanks to government efforts. Though there is some safety equipment, overcrowding and inadequate safety measures have led to accidents and tragedies on the waterways. This is only worsened due to the prevalence of so many older vessels. The government and various organizations are currently working to improve the ferry system by enhancing safety regulations, introducing modern and more efficient ferries, and improving the infrastructure of terminals and docks. GPS roadmap. Ita holo BSF jahaze jahaze kotha kawar, kosgaale shate kotha kawar, poshashone shate kotha kawar. তারপরে এটা হল পানির গভীরতা একুশের তারপরে এটা হল রাডার পেশায় শুকানি আমি মাস্টার আমি কোয়ার্টার মাস্টার আমার হেড মাস্টার হল ইনি ওনার কমান্ডে এই জাহাজটা চলে বা আমি হেই অধীনে কাজ করি যেভাবে যেখানে দরকার ওভাবে ডিউ টু দ্য শেয়ার অ্যামাউন্ট অফ ট্রাফিক অন দ্য রিভার Docking the ship is often considered one of the most dangerous parts of the process. A lockout is necessary to provide real-time information about other vessels, particularly when the captain's view is impeded. Passengers are encouraged to disembark at an orderly pace, though particularly crowded ships can take some time to unload everybody. If a return trip is not scheduled for that day, the crew will sometimes stay overnight. Depending on how crowded the wharf area is, they may need to use smaller wooden boats to travel to and from the dock.
In some cases, passengers must do the same. Bangladesh is almost entirely Muslim, and daily prayers are always observed among the men working on the boat. Most boats have a small makeshift mosque or prayer area where the men can pray. Of course, a hard day's work always deserves a meal, which can be taken in the ship's mess hall. This also gives Captain Salam and his crew a place to unwind and discuss the day's events and plans for tomorrow. Crew quarters are generally sparse and cramped, but the men are used to it. While Salam sleeps, another crew member will act as captain, giving him adequate time to rest before his next turn at the wheel. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.